Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of 9 in 9 with Watford. Today we take on Hull City as we look to continue a good run of form that we have picked up recently. We have got to make a trip to the treatment room to discuss one big injury at the back. Don't forget if you enjoy this content to please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's have a look at that injury first of all. So one minor one and one major one in the treatment room at the moment. Argo is out for a couple of weeks with a hamstring injury. The biggest one is Matt Clark out with a hip injury expected to be out between two and four months he's seeing the specialist expected to be back in late january and that's a big blow for us but we have done pretty well since we've last been together we beat crystal palace by a goal to nil tom mcintyre with the only goal we beat preston by two goals to nil jack deal and tony martinez with a penalty regan Poole sent off for for Preston, we then drew with Middlesbrough. We left it very, very late to come back into it. Dale Fry and Jaden Anthony had put Middlesbrough 2 0 up. Jack Deal and Argo with a penalty had pulled us back level at two each. We then beat Bournemouth by two goals to nil. Deal and Mara with the goals. And we followed that up with a 1 0 win over Sunderland. Jack Deal with the only goal of the game before the international break. And all that means we are five points clear at the top of the championship table. Brentford are in second place on 31. Burnley have got 30. Lead 27. West Ham 26. With Stoke also on 26. Luton and Crystal Palace on 25. Blackburn, Bournemouth and Reading all on 24. Millwall on 23. Completing the top half down at the bottom. Where well, you can see Hull City. They have had a meteoric rise up the table recently. They were in the bottom three last time we were together. Preston are bottom. They have a win on the board now. Two wins so far this season. They have nine with Sunderland. Charlton and Portsmouth have got 10. QPR have got 13. Middlesbrough 14. Bristol City and Ipswich on 16. There is Hull on 17 with Birmingham on 19 with Cardiff and Nottingham Forest on 22. So they have a chance to move up a couple of places. Hull with a win. But of course, we don't want that to happen. We want to extend our lead out in front in the championship table as it starts to take shape. Let's take a look at the team. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. We start with Darman in goal, Kessler Hayden, Chambers, McIntyre, Gallo, Cook, Samu, Mbola, Palmer, Deal with Martinez leading the line. Hull start with Gunter in goal, Goodwin, Malif, Okpo, Odemayo, Coyle, Gordon, McGuian, Doherty, Rowan, Mighton with Popov leading the line. So it's going to be an interesting one, this one. Hull City have picked up some good form recently. Can we continue our winning ways at the top of the table? Let's find out. Come on, boys. Need some more goals from Martinez, please. Cole Palmer is back in the side as well today. He's been out injured. Rowan, Hayden with it. On to Mbolo. Plays it across in towards Gallo. McGahan takes it away. Mayo. Into Gordon. Just keep them in there. Pops them in. Doherty. Mayo once more. Pressure on the football. That's what I like to see. Gallo will pick it up in the left back position. Tries to play it forward into Deal. Intercepted by Coyle. Comes down the field. Looking for Popov in behind. Can we get back around? We can. And Darman with the save. That's an easy. And it's a corner to Watford. And Bolo's going to take it. Is he going to find a Watford head? He's going towards the back post. And it's headed over the bar by Cole Palmer. It's another corner though. Tips on its way by the keeper. Try again. Can Mbolo find anybody this time? He can! McIntyre heads it wide. But the Mayo again. Going across into Doherty. They like to knock it around to Hull City. It seems that. Hayden. Coming down the right hand side. Run, son. Run away from him, Mbolo. There we go. Up the right hand side. Can he swing a ball over? He can in towards the centre. Jack Deal rises and he heads it wide. Unlucky. Free kick. Palmer with it. Plays it in towards the penalty area. That's going to be the keeper's ball. That's a poor cross into the centre. Too much on it. Gunter has it. He sends it down the field. Are we going to deal with that? We've got plenty of players there. We should be able to. Chambers plays it on to Hayden. Let's try the conventional route, shall we? Hayden comes down the right-hand side. He'll get away from his man. Plays it inside to Mbolo, but Gordon takes it away from him. It's 
ended up the field, but we are going to deal with that, are we? Chambers with a great header forward. Palmer on to Deal, looking for Martinez. Plays it back into Deal, goes on to Gallo. Going to get across into the centre. We'll play it back in towards Cole Palmer, towards Jack Deal, back into Palmer again. It's all very elaborate. Can we do anything with it? Samu. On to Gallo, into Samu once more. Gallo with the ball. Oh, don't lose anything from this. Nice little chip into the centre and Jack Deal heads it into the net. It was elaborate, but it's ended up in the back of the net. Jack Deal with the goal. And as Gittens is unlucky to not be in the starting lineup, but Jack Deal was brilliant before the international break and he has continued it. Three goals in three games for him now. As I say, we take our time, but we get there in the end. 1 0 Watford. And that is half time. Watford 1 Hull 0. We've been the better side. Although possession stats are in Hull's favour, but it is the score at the top left hand corner of your screen that is the most important thing. We can definitely go up another gear. I think we're probably in about third gear at the moment. Let's go into fifth gear. Are we allowed to use that? I'm sure we are. No copyright on fifth gear, right? No longer on television, I don't think. Bolo. Amazing what you think of when you're doing this. Martinez trying to get away. A foul, it's a free kick. Well done, Martinez. Still looking for him to catch fire in front of goal. Uh, is Cole Palmer going to have a shot from here? He may well do. He does. It's over the bar. Unlucky. Just started to dip too late for a kick to Hull. Ronan with the ball in. Oh my god. That's gone over everybody. Popoff has headed it wide. It didn't me. That had some air on it, didn't it? It's on a kick. It's going to be in Bolo to take it. Are we going to score from a corner? It's headed in by McIntyre. Yes, we are. Front post corner. Tom McIntyre with his fifth goal of the season. It's an easy one. Just gets away from his marker. Nobody jumps up with him. Goalkeeper goes wrong side. 2 0 Watford. Nice start to the second half. Get a bit of encouragement on the field, shall we? Jeff Wallace is on the field for Hull. Coyle has it. Plays it into McEwen. Onto Malif. Doherty looking over the top for Coyle. Can we deal with the danger? We can't really. No, McIntyre wax it away. That'll do. Coyle heads it forward. Doherty tries again, looking for Wallace. Just come on the field, and he's fired it into the back of the net, but the flag has gone up. It won't count. Let's have a look at a substitution, shall we? Cole Palmer is only good for 75 minutes after his injury. So Samu is going to go and play behind the striker, and we're going to bring Brett Wilshaw. At the moment, Tony Martin is re reminding me of Roberto Soldado, which is never a good thing. Great player. Lousy in the Premier League, but he tried, bless him. Right, we're racing towards the end of the game at the moment. We're going to make another couple of changes. Jack Deal is going to be one of the players to come off. Gittins is going to come on for him. We're going to make a change on the other side as well. And we're going to bring on Bushy on the right-hand side. Leaving Tony Martinez out there. Seeing if he can score a goal. But I think we've done enough today. Goal at the start of the second half kind of killed the momentum that Hull were trying to build. Lots of changes happening and Hull have a throw deep inside their own half. Kerry has it. Going to try and come down the field. Plays it on to Wallace. That accounted. It made it would have made things interesting. That goal from Wallace. As Coyle comes down the right hand side. McEwen. Malif. Trying to play it across into Carey. He's in behind, and it's a good save from Darman. Keep his clean sheet. Said it again. It went the last time I said it. Wallace with the ball into the area. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Determined to keep you know what. He looks like he's going to keep it today. With McIntyre having the ball. Referee should be looking at his watch any time now. As Diamond plays it onto Chambers. Whack it down the field for goodness sake. There we go. Looking for Martinez. But I think he's just going to let the defender have that. And then it's full time. Watford 2. Hull City 0. Great result for us. A goal from Jack Deal and a header from Tom McIntyre giving us three points. And there's been some big results elsewhere in the championship today. Bournemouth 6, Birmingham 3. What a game that is at the Eddie Howe Stadium. Brentford have beaten Leeds in a battle at the top of the table. So they still occupy second place as Burnley have won as well. Crystal Palace have won. And Portsmouth have beaten West Ham. So that sends West Ham outside of the playoffs. Let's see what we're going to do next time.
because we may well laugh at what's happening with Luton Town. We're taking them on next time around in the M1 Derby. A very little known derby, but it's a big rivalry between Watford and Luton. But at the moment, we are showing form that is going to lead us back to the Premier League and promotion number eight for me. And equaling Neil Warnock's record. But we have a long way to go in the season. There's still six months left of it. But we will come back, as I mentioned, for that M1 derby with Luton. Hopefully, we can pick up a win against a bitter rival in the championship. But as I say, good win for us today. Good goal for Jack Deal. Good goal for McIntyre. Lovely stuff indeed. I will see you next time. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, so please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And I'll see you for Luton. Thanks for watching. Bye.